Now today, BBC Northwest tonight's cameras were invited into what could become the region's next fracking site. Irresponsible fracturing. Just in the past couple of minutes again, to try to take away the protesters. I've seen five or six arrests just in the past couple of minutes. Whoa. 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 There's a powerful group of people out there that are secretly running the world. I'm talking about the guys no one knows about, the guys that are invisible. The top 1% of the top 1%, the guys that play God without permission. Hydraulic fracturing. A process that can provide us with natural gas, but at what cost? Hydraulic fracturing or fracking is a process that injects liquid into subterranean rocks at high pressures. The liquid solution that is used to mix with sand, which allows for very small cracks or fractures in the rock to be held open. This releases methane, which is a natural gas used to fuel things like water heaters, stoves, and clothes dryers. Schlumber J is the largest oil field services company in the world, and one of the world's largest fracking companies as well, with a net worth of nearly $36 billion, whose greatest determination in their own words is to produce superior profits. Fracking isn't all that great and can cause numerous serious problems. While fracking, some of the methane that is obtained can be released into the atmosphere when natural gas is collected. This can contribute to global warming and pollute drinking water, which can actually catch on fire if ignited, and in some cases, cause an explosion. In one such instance, a retired pastor, his wife, and their one-year-old grandchild were killed in an explosion in Pennsylvania back in 2004. Though Schlumper J is aware of these issues, they still continue to use fracking as a method of obtaining natural gas. Schlumper J is responsible for numerous mistakes and commercializes the use of safe procedure, yet they tend to not practice what they preach. Operations at the site have uncovered silica dust, which blows freely onto an elementary school, a child care center, and a community recreation center nearby. Silica dust causes lesions on the lungs, shortness of breath, cough, fever, and can lead to the fatal disease, silicosis. Schlumberger refuses to disclose the chemicals being stored at their facility. Among their long list of environmental disasters, they are responsible for contaminating soil and water in Bradford County, Pennsylvania with hydrochloric acid. Short-term exposure to the chemical can result in severe burns, blindness, and respiratory damage. Schlumberger has also violated radioactive material handling regulations, exposing workers to unsafe conditions. In conclusion, Schlumberger has a poor environmental conscience based on the fact that they continue to use hydraulic fracturing as a method of obtaining natural gas, despite it being known as a poor environmental practice. <laughs>